you can come up here. To Hello, welcome to Metabolic Support on the Metabolic Support System's Nutrition Assessment Form. So that's the form we're going to look at today. So once you're into eCare and you have found your patient, today we have Wanda 201, and you want to look at the assessment that MSS uses for these patients. The place to go to start filling it out would be ad hoc. Then you have to go to all items. Then you have to scroll down to patient care, which is right here. And once you've done that, it will put everything in here alphabetically. And then you're going to find the MSS Nutrition Assessment. Put a check in the box and then hit chart. Once you've done that, the form will pop up like this. So now that we have the form in here, let me resize it for you. The first thing the metabolic support team is going to do when they go in to assess the patient is they're going to start putting in information about that patient, who's taking care of them, nutritional assessment information, etc. So they would come in and put in maybe Dr. Herman's, type in the pharmacist's name, the nurse, the dietitian, etc. Once they've completed that, then they would come down here and they would start looking at the nutrition assessment. So they might punch in the current weight, um, current height, and then it gives you the BMI. So it will do some of those calculations for you. Then they would come through and they would look at this information and fill it out to the best of their ability. Um, without a real patient here, I'm just going to kind of click through this for some demonstration purposes so that you can see what's in here. Now at the very bottom of the page, you'll see in yellow that we have two options. The MSS team will decide to follow the patient or they will sign off and not follow the patient. So for our example here, we'll go ahead and say that they're going to follow this patient. So once we have that clicked, we're going to come up here and sign the documentation. And that will save it into the patient's record. The other thing that that will do is there's this new feature in the summary view where we can go in and look really quickly to see if the patient is on metabolic support or not. So once I click refresh, I came over here, there's metabolic support services, and it shows that we are currently following that patient. If you need to get back to the form, one thing you can do is you can click over here on where it says form browser, and you'll see the MSS nutrition assessment is located here. So if I wanted to see what information was documented, I can right click and I can hit view, or I could simply double click it. Once I double click the information, you can see it takes me back to the form to do that. Now that just, um, when I view it or I double click on it, that just gives me the view only version. If I actually wanted to go in and change something, I have to right click and hit modify. If for some reason, um, if you're the person who filled out the form and you filled it out on the wrong patient or what have you, you can right click on it and unchart. So those would be the options there. That pretty much covers the